stop. The Lord be with you, and also with you. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. A very warm welcome to St. McCartan's Cathedral as we celebrate this special day in the lives of Olivia and Ryan. Wherever you have been, and wherever you are going, you are very welcome here. On this site associated with St. McCartan, worship has been offered to our loving God for centuries. Tradition names McCartan as the strong name of St. Patrick, who established the church in Clocher and spread the gospel in Tyrone and Fermanagh. On this special day, we join in that conversation with God that began long before us and will, please God, continue long after us. Who brings this woman to be married to this man? We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Olivia and Ryan, to ask his blessing on them and to share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself a guest at a wedding at Cana of Galilee and through his spirit he is with us now. The scriptures set before us 
marriage is part of God's creation and a holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that, as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage was ordained that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in need, in sorrow and in joy. It is intended that with delight and tenderness they may know each other in love, and through the joy of their bodily union they may strengthen the union of their hearts and their lives. It is intended that they may be blessed in the children they may have, in caring for them and in bringing them up in accordance with God's will to his praise and his glory. In marriage, husband and wife begin a new life together in the community. It is a permanent commitment that all should honour. It must not be undertaken carelessly, lightly or selfishly, but by God's help, with reverence, responsibility, respect and the promise to be faithful. This is a way of life created and hallowed by God that Olivia and Ryan are now about to begin. They will each give their consent to the other, they will join hands and exchange solemn vows, and in token of this they will give and receive rings. Therefore, on this their wedding day, we pray with them that strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfill his purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. Almighty God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you send the Holy Spirit to be the light and life of all your people. Open the hearts of these your servants to the riches of his grace, that they may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We sing our first hymn, Be Thou My Vision. <coughs>
Alan will now read the Old Testament lesson for us. Please be seated. from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 beginning at verse 1 for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And Orla will now read, How Do I Love Thee? How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight for the ends of being an ideal grace i love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight i love thee freely as men strive for right i love thee purely as they turn from praise i love thee with the passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith i love thee with a love i seem to lose with my lost saints I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life, and if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. Please stand for the Gospel reading. Hear the Gospel of our Saviour Christ according to St John, chapter 15, beginning at verse 9. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commands, so that you may love one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And may I speak and may we all listen in the name of our loving God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. The central word of marriage is a very short one indeed, love, so sermons on these occasions should also be very short. But love is also the biggest word that there is. But brevity is the soul of survival, so I promise I will keep it brief. Many, many images of Christ and the church are given in scripture to emphasize our union with him, most famously, the bride and the bridegroom. And just before this section in John's gospel, Christ describes himself as the true vine of which we are all branches. We have a living relationship 
true Christ and we are to abide in his love. When we picture vines and branches, we might imagine a very fragile plant and it may seem easy to break off a branch. This picture is nothing like what is even today cultivated in the Holy Land. Vines there are large and they're strong and it is impossible to break off a branch at least without injuring the vine itself. This picture in John's Gospel is used to emphasize that our union with Christ is a living union so that we may bear fruit in love and joy and peace, a loving union so that we might enjoy being with him and a lasting union so that we not, need not to be afraid whatever the circumstance we find ourselves in. Marriage provides a picture of this living, loving, lasting union. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Olivia and Ryan, to celebrate their love for each other, and to ask God's blessing upon them. Throughout the ages, people on great journeys have stopped at important places and at decisive moments to build markers on the roadside to which they and others can return. Olivia and Ryan's relationship is a great journey that in different ways we have all traveled and we will continue to travel with them. Today, we pause along the way of that great journey of love to gather at a decisive and important moment for Olivia and for Ryan and for us all. We mark this decisive moment in Olivia and Ryan's journey now, adding to that roadside marker the stones of our own love, of our own prayer, and of our own support for them as they make their promises. So, Olivia and Ryan, our hope and prayer for you today is that you may know the love of God which draws you both together through the love which you have for one another. May you also grow in love for God, walking with Christ as your companion along the way of that great journey. May you come to share the joys which he has prepared for each one of us. In short, may you know the joy of your marriage which provides a picture of our living, loving, lasting union with God in Christ. Amen. Please stand. God, the judge of all, knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows any reason why you must not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Ryan, will you take Olivia to be your wife? Will you love her, care for her, comfort her, honor and obey her, or, uh, honor and care for her, sorry, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. I will. Olivia, will you take Ryan to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and care for him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. I will. Please face each other. Ryan, please take Olivia's right hand in yours and repeat after me. I, Ryan, I, Ryan. Take, you, Olivia, take you, Olivia, to be my wife, to, be my wife. to have and to hold, to have and to hold. From, this day forward. from this day forward, for better, for worse, for, better, for, worse. for, richer, for, poorer. for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. To, love and to, cherish. to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death us do part. According, to God's holy law. according to God's holy law, this is my solemn vow. You may lose hands. And Olivia, please take Ryan's right hand in yours and repeat after me. <laughs> I, Olivia, take you, Ryan, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish Till death, Till death us do part, according to God's holy law, this is my solemn vow. You may lose hands. Might I please receive the ring?
Heavenly Father, may these rings be to Olivia and Brian a symbol of unending love and faithfulness to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day. Brian, please take this ring, place it on Olivia's hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring, I give you this ring. As, a as a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And Olivia, please take this ring, place it on Ryan's hand, and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And please turn to face the congregation. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Olivia and Ryan have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, in the name of God, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. The newly married couple may now kiss and we can express our congratulations. <laughs> Join your right hands together. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. The congregation, please remain standing while Olivia and Ryan kneel. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, that you may live together in faith and love, and receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. And together you say. Our God and Father, our Father we, we thank you for uniting our lives and forgiving us, and forgive us, us for each other in the fulfillment of love. Watch over us at all times, guide and protect us, and give us faith and patience that as we hold each other's hands in yours, we may draw strength from you and from each other through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Will you, the family and friends of Olivia and Ryan, support and encourage them in their marriage? You can do much better than that. Will you, the family and friends of Olivia and Ryan, support and encourage them in their marriage? Yes. Much better. Blessed are you, Heavenly Father. You give joy to the bridegroom and the bride. Blessed are you, Lord Jesus Christ. You have brought new life to all your people. Blessed are you, Holy Spirit of God. You bring us together in love. Blessed be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, to be praised forever. Amen. We now proceed to the chapter room for the signing of the registers, and we are grateful to Annabel for her ministry in music. And her life's a mystery 
Just gotta say, yeah. She's really got a magical spell, and it's working so well that I can't get away. Yeah. I'm a lucky fella, and I just gotta tell her that I love her endlessly. Oh, but love grows. Where my rosemary goes And nobody knows Like me a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do ya well it goes like this the fourth, the fifth the minor fall and the major lift the baffled king composing hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Will your 
faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to her kitchen chair, she broke your throne and she cut your hair, and from your lips she drew the hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew ya. Well, it's not a cry that you hear at night, it's not someone who's seen the light, it's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We come before God in prayer. Please sit or kneel as is your custom and as is most comfortable for you. Now that Olivia and Ryan have given themselves to each other in marriage, let us pray that God will keep them and all other married couples faithful to their marriage vows. May they live and grow together in love and peace all the days of their life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May they truly and faithfully perform those vows which they have made together in your sight. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May their life together be a witness to your love in this troubled world. May unity overcome division 
Forgiveness heal injury, and joy triumph over sorrow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May their home be a place of love, security, and truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for their families and friends, and all who share with them in the happiness of this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your church, united to Christ as a bride is to her husband, that it may be faithful to him in love and in truthfulness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember with thanksgiving our relatives and friends departed this life in your faith and fear, and pray that we may share with them the joys of your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And together you say, Bless our home, our partners, and our neighbours. Make us worthy of us to be faithfully tender with each other in things and trust in your love. Yes. <laughs> your love. In your love. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And as our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Jesus said, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. And we sing together the hymn, Amazing Grace.
Olivia and Ryan have asked me to remind you to please make your way to the Rabbit Hotel in Temple Patrick immediately following this service where a drinks reception awaits you. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Please show your congratulations to the newly married couple. Read on.